If my dad catches us coming in this late, he's going to ground us. No, first he's going to kill us. Then he's going to ground us. Katie, I've been a kid a long time. I know how this stuff works. You're safe as long as you're with me, because I'm a guest. And guests don't get in trouble. It's an unwritten law. Come on. Katie, Laura, you know what time it is? I'm sorry we're late, Dad. I told you to be home by 10.30. It was my fault, Uncle Gene. I insisted we take our time getting back. Do you have any idea how many young people are injured each year rushing home to make curfew? <laughs> That's a new one. Well, we'll skip it this time. Go on upstairs and go to bed. Good night, Dad. Good night, Uncle Gene. Good night. Hey, Laura, too bad you didn't come to watch softball practice. Mary Jane Donovan took a line drive right in her new nose. <laughs> Wait, I got some real news. I was hanging out down at the mall this morning, and I met these two gorgeous college guys, Fran and Courtney. Ooh, even their names are cute. <laughs> yep, and they're taking us to the movies tonight, but Brant is mine. But why would college guys want to go out with us? Because I told them we're fun, and I told them we're interesting, and I told them we're 19. <laughs> they won't believe I'm 19. Well, they believed I'm 19. You're kidding. And they're in college? <laughs> yeah, Brant drives a convertible. I don't know, Laura. I mean, what are we going to tell my dad? Your dad? Katie, you're dangerously close to joining the Wimp of the Month Club. <laughs> Look, I just don't want to get in trouble, OK? What's wrong with having a little bit of fun? Well, nothing, I guess, but believe me, tonight is going to be awesome. Okay, listen, Krause, now, I don't want any of this released until I have a chance to talk to the governor. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Dubois. How are you? Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? I'm fine. I just... Oh, you look wonderful today, Miss Krause. <laughs> Thanks. We, we weren't talking about anything important. We were just hanging out. Good, good. <laughs> so, how's the prison guard strike going? Sure, everything's coming along. You know, I knew a prisoner once, but not exactly. Oh, thanks. They were pen pals. It was a wonderful thing to make a desperate person a little happier. Well, I hope you thanked him for it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, you girls having a good time? Great. Benson, you think we're going to beat that strike deadline? I think so, sir. Clayton came up with an idea, and I agree with him. I think we're going to lick this thing. You agreeing with Clayton? Well, even Daffy Duck has a good idea once in a while. <laughs> well, let's go to my office and you can fill me in. Hey, listen, girl. How'd you like to join me for some ice cream later on? Looks like I'm going to be free tonight. Yeah, sure. Oh, we'd love to, Uncle Gene, but we already have plans. You do? All right. Look, Dad, you're probably going to say no, but Laura and I are wondering if maybe we could go to out... To a slumber party. <laughs> Whose house is it going to be at? Um, um, Mary Jane Donovan from Kitty softball team, right? Yeah, right. She's on the softball team. Oh, well, have a good time. Come on, Vincent, let's go to work. See you later. Bye. Come on, Katie, cheer up. If your father knew where we were going, all he'd do is worry. By not telling him, we're doing him a favor. <laughs> well, that does sound like fun. Come on, what are you going to wear tonight? My blue dress? If you wear that blue dress, neither one of those guys will look at me. Hey, that's life. <laughs>